Okay, let's resume. I gotta make a dialogue choice quick here. There. I'm right here with you, man. We're getting out of this. Together. Best, Best bros. I keep doing this. Making the same stupid mistakes. If only they could fuse. Remember when you wanted to run away and re-enlist? Yeah. You talked me out of it. And you, you did? I didn't. To keep your family. You <laughs> can do it again. Now. See why the choices don't Listen matter? Carefully. It, I told him that I, I wouldn't stop him. I don't care to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They gotta survive. No matter what. You don't have to worry. They're safe for now. We have to get them out of town. Both of us. You're right. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. Hug him. You never give up on anybody. Nice. And I'm not going to give up on you. Brotherly love. If I ever had a brother, that's how I would want to be with him. There you go. So glad to see you boys getting along. Armed escort. You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not going to be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. She's amused. Uh, people had concerns about me coming here after the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. Uh, okay. I think everyone in this town is dangerous. They are when they're scared and hungry. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. Wow, she's admitting to it. The real danger was another long winter. I should have been told about this. David, you remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. Even I know though the she, laws, Joan. She broke the You're laws. Breaking them. Yeah. This place could have been something. Something good. And you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. Wow, what a bitch. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. And also bring rubbers. We'll need them. <laughs> yes. Well, all alone Screw this. in a locker room. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. What am I looking at the fucking chair for? Anything back here? What's over here? Stool? What's that? Wait a minute, what's that? Shower? Been a long time since I hit the showers. Oh, and I could use one. Too bad there's no running water in here. How do you know? You gotta try it. That's about the kind of day I'm having. There you go. Maybe he could pick this up. Can he pick this up and go to the window? A stool. Yeah, the window. Pick it up. I can't. What the fuck? I can't pick it up yet. Maybe I gotta go to the window first. What's all this crap? A pipe? Can I grab the pipe? There we go. Remove the pipe. Aha! Apparently he has a pipe now. Why don't I look at that? What's over here? I don't care about the stupid door. A bench? Stand on the bench. Uh, what's here? Open the locker. What's in the locker? Oh, gay porn. 
Ugh, nothing useful here. Piles and piles of Playgirl magazine, I knew it. <laughs> hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. Ah, the stool, I told ya. Could squeeze through there. This is a pretty shitty prison. You could easily jump on top of the locker and then just go right out the window. What kind of a prison is this? This is where you lock people up and no one ever figured out how to escape from this yet? Seriously? Uh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. They purposely set up an easy prison to escape from. I wonder what I'm gonna do with that pipe. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do with it. Rock the boat, rock the boat, rock the boat. No. Maybe boot it. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh shit. Gabe? Where did <laughs> you take dad? I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. <sighs> I'm just a pussy. I can't do it. Told you. Can you help? Shake, rattle, and roll. Wow, they actually nice did it. Work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. Yeah, worst designed prison I've ever seen. You usually just go right out the window. Why don't you give him a screwdriver, you know, some fucking C4 explosives? You could have just left everything in there. Make it even easier. Why not? All right, faces in the crowd. The first trophy of the DLC. Here we go. Actually, of the episode, not the DLC, I guess. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. This way. Come on. Kate didn't want to stay at Dad's house. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. She sent me to find you. While they hide out. Kate getting better, you sure it saved Eleanor's lifesaver. Say Thank that. Thank God for Eleanor. She's a lifesaver. There you go. She saved Kate, and I'll never forget it. I was pretty scared. Me too, buddy. Me too. We should probably keep moving. I can't believe you found me. I looked everywhere. Huh. Nice work. Thank you. They've still got your dad, though. He's gonna be okay, right? I mean, these are his people. They're just arguing. He's aren't negotiating. They? We'll do our best. It's hopeless. We'll do our I'm best. Working on that. There you go. To tell you the truth, things don't look so good for him right now. What? Then we have to help him. We got to meet up with the others first. All clear. Come on. Kate keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. We can't leave Dad here. Not after we found him again. That's up to Kate. I think she's right. I'll talk, I'll talk to, to her. her. There you go. I'll try to convince her. Good. It's important. Good. We'll try. Can't guarantee anything. Hold up. Oh boy. Look how they run. <laughs> they run so so like frigid, right? They're rigid, like a wire frame. No human runs like that. Oh man. Who died? Everything's gone wrong here, hasn't it? We should be safe in this town. You shouldn't be a prisoner. We'll fix it for us when we get your dad back and our family back together. Try. Okay. That's Eleanor's place. We made it. Great. Let's get in there. Surprise! Well, that was shitty luck. Oh, that was close. Yeah. 
<laughs> he burst through the door. I so wonder if there's any escapees out here. What are they up to? <laughs> Come on, let's get inside. Telltale presents. The intro, huh? Yep. Association with Skybound Entertainment. Spike Lee Join. Brought to you by the amazing cleansing powers of Selsun Blue. Selsun Blue, wash away those zombies right the fuck out of your stinky hair. Selsun Blue, scrub your balls. What? <laughs> Selsun Blue Ball Scrub, now available at your local grocery store. Get the funk out of your junk, Selsun Blue. What is going on? I don't know. I'm trying to make this scene interesting because no one cares about them building here. <laughs> That's so boring. Why are they showing this? <clears throat> what are they trying to do? Solar panels or something? I don't know. Richmond presentation at dawn. That's the mandatory meeting she talked about. Oh, Asim Zubair. You do such a good job with the environments. Look at that. He probably made that little hopscotch down there. Asim did it all by hand. He should be applauded. Actually, Asim, uh, he actually... <laughs> he contracts all his work to, to uh... Oh, episode four, Thicker Than Water. He contracts all the environmental work to small underage children in Bangladesh. They draw all the stuff, and he just slaps it together in a video editor. <laughs> Alright, I lied, Asim. I take that back. I made all that up. I feel bad now, because the intro was boring, and I had to say stuff over it to make it interesting. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Aww. He's still pissed at me? Just shut up while I'm hugging you. Would you be happy never seeing me again? So what about me? Trip. I just can't do this now. Oh. Hey. Uh, hey. Trip. Look who's here. Hey, uh, guys. Uh, we could hey. hear all your personal shit, asshole. Where you were talking been? super loud. All right. 